Good morning. This is Aqua Love's Gardening. This is Aqua Love here. And we are going to be, today we're going to be discussing chapter three of the narcissist in the chicken. Okay, so it's Saturday morning. Della woke up early, excited about the day. Number one, get the kids up. Number two, time to get those, get some breakfast in them babies. So Frank, he doesn't, he doesn't come home on the weekends. So uh, he usually stays the weekend at his mom's house. You know, Frank says that a man needs to hang out with his friends on the weekend after working so hard during the week. So Della, she finds the weekends quite peaceful. You know, she misses her husband, but she understands why he needs to be with his mom and his friends. Frank is 32 years old. He has never had a steady 9-to-5 job. He's never had a 9-to-5 job. Frank enjoys drinking and smoking and hanging out in dark basements with his friends. <laughs> okay, so Della, she's 10 years younger than him, so she's she's 22. You know, she we'll talk about Della later. So, it's Saturday morning. She hear the kids in the room playing. Of course, Autumn. Autumn done climbed out the crib already and done got the other got Summer out. So, Autumn and Summer are sitting on the floor having themselves a great time. So, <laughs> Della goes in the kitchen. Get the kids, they little. First, she goes head on and get them dressed because she already know. Let's get these babies dressed, even though they're gonna make a mess. Della say, I'm gonna get these babies dressed first so that I can take my time getting dressed. So she gets the babies up and dressed, put the little bibs on and give them their little, they little box of cereal. The little boxes you get from Sam's Club is about what five or six different flavors in there, about 15 little tiny boxes. So, of course, they get to pick what they want. Of course, whatever Autumn picks, Summer wants the same thing. So they both had a little cereal. She gets them their little their little individual yogurt out the refrigerator. Give them a little plastic spoon, and that's that. So Della's excited today. Today's a good day. Saturday morning, she got a little her little CD player going. She goes head on and does a load of laundry just so she can have all of this stuff done for the weekend for Monday morning. So she gets dressed. She's listening to a little gospel music. The laundry's done. She gets dressed and she gets the kids and they all get together and, and climb on down those stairs and go get in the car because she's on her way to Miss to her, her mother-in-law's house. <clears throat> so she pulls up in the driveway to her mother-in-law's house. It is about 15 people sitting outside, a few sitting on the porch drinking. The rest of them standing, leaning up against the gate, drinking, laughing, having a great time. And, <clears throat> you know, it's a pretty well-to-do neighborhood. You know, it's a lot of people. It's, it's, up, it's an upper-class neighborhood. So, of course, it's the only house on the block that got all this activity going on. Everybody else must be at work or sleeping. So, Della, she gets the kids out the car, and they walk past the group, the crowd. You know, Della's used to people, but no one really speaks to her. She walks past, she goes, <clears throat> she goes, the kids, they're falling all over the place. The kids like going over there too. <laughs> and the two twins, they love grandma house. You know, they're barely two years old. So, you know, they're, they so excited, <laughs> especially little Autumn. She's holding, she's holding Summer's hand. So they're walking towards the door and Della she's excited too she loves going to see Mrs. Smalls <clears throat> um as soon as Della approaches the door to the house that smell of alcohol is so thick in the air and the loud and, and, the, and the conversations are overwhelming you know everybody's and, and a lot of people are staring at Della looking at her like a little bit Sort of like she doesn't belong. They don't they don't make her feel warm or loving. She she walks into the house and she sees Frank. And she, you know, she walks over to Frank and he looks annoyed at her. He looks annoyed. 
He's not happy to see her. <laughs> so she instantly walks over to Frank and she defends herself. I'm just here to see your mom. I'm just here to see your mom. He looks, he looks at her as it would look just like, oh, what the struck, disgust, disgusting. He's like, he's disgusted to see her. It's a look of disgust on his face. So Della, you know, she lets the kids hands go. They follow her and she walks up the stairs and she sees Mrs. Small in, in her bedroom. And she's <laughs> Mrs. Small. She's anything but small. She's big. She's heavy set and she's dark skinned it. And she's just dancing in the mirror, looking at herself. And she has this beautiful black hair with this gray streak down the middle, down the center of her head, from the tip of her head to the back of her neck. She has this thick, gray, gray segment of hair that she, she splits right down the middle. And then she gathers each side of her hair into these puff balls. And she, um, and she puts so much grease on these puff balls into these these um hair ties that it looks as if her hair is literally glued to her to her scalp and she wears these indian clothes in fact Della call her indian because she looks like an indian and she wear these clothes that look similar to a dashiki but are oversized with bright colors on them and she wears these black really really tight black pants the kind that they say they got the old lady pants. They got the rubber around the waist. You just slide them on. <laughs> and so Della, you know, she looks at Mrs. Smalls and she tells her, she said, you look beautiful today. And Mrs. Smalls, she's just dancing, doing her little old lady dance. And then <laughs> the kids come, na, 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 na. Um, and she loves her grandbabies. She loves her grandbabies. And so she bends slightly down and she holds her hand. She extends her arms and she grabs her grandbabies and she pulls them close to her. And she, she tells them something. You know, Della can't really hear what she's saying, but the kids are excited. <laughs> and the party is still going on downstairs and Mrs. Smalls is 100% okay with it. So Della tells Mrs. Small, where well, the car's in the driveway, I'm thinking we can go to Aldi's first and then we'll head on over to Jules. And so Mrs. Small is like, okay, that sounds good with me. I'm ready. So uh, they go down the stairs and the kids are going to stay with Pete. Frank has a, uh, a younger brother. His name is Pete. And Pete is a, a, a totally different from Frank. Pete is very responsible. And Pete loved his 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 uh his babies. So the kids are more than happy to stay with Pete. And so Della and Mrs. Smalls, they get into the car. You know, they go get the meat and the bell peppers and all of the stuff. And what they couldn't find at uh oh, sorry guys. And what they could not find at at all these, they went ahead and picked the rest up at Jewel's. And so while Della was at Jewel, she went ahead and picked up a little bottle of wine because she was thinking, I think I want to fit in today. I think I want to have fun at the party too, you know? And so <clears throat> her, Miss Della and Mrs. Smiles decided, let's go to McDonald's and get something to eat now because it was about lunchtime, kind of. So might as well go get a couple Happy Meals and get a couple burgers and eat that while we're, you know, before we start preparing the food. So they pulled back into, so now they're back, back at Mrs. Small's house. They pulled back into the driveway. The house is completely quiet. <laughs> the house is locked. No one's outside. When Della comes around, everybody leaves. Della could clean a room. She don't understand why. All she knows is when she comes to the party, everybody leaves. So they walk into the house and Pete, she's sitting downstairs in the front room with the babies. And Mrs. Small, she has this obsession with unicorns. She has these two giant glass unicorns at the entry to her um her front room. And she has unicorns everywhere. She has this big glow-in-the-dark unicorn picture over the front room couch. And on either side of her TV, she has these bulb unicorns inside these glass bulbs where it looked like it's snowing on the inside. 
And the twins love just standing there watching the balls. <laughs> I guess it looked like it's snowing on the unicorn. And Uncle Petey's there with the, with the babies, giving them all the apple juice and sippy cups they can desire. So everyone's having a wonderful, great time in the unicorn front room. So Mrs. Smalls and Della, they go into the kitchen, put the food, some of the food in the refrigerator in the other part. They take it and go into the dining room where they're going to sit at the table and prepare the food and, you know, have their little drink or whatever. Mrs. Small, she likes that rare fruitopia. So Della made sure she picked her up some. So she pours her a glass of her little rare fruitopia. And Della, she a big girl today, so she has her little half a glass of wine. They sit at the table. As they begin to cut up the bell peppers and the onions to mix in the meat to make the meatloaf. And Della has her notebook out and she's ready to take notes. So Della, the first question Della asks is, Mrs. Small is, why when I come over here, everybody leave? It's like, that's, I don't, I wanted to, I wanted to hang out with everybody today. And Mrs. Smalls was saying, you know, it's fine. I like the quiet too. <laughs> so they just sit at the table and they're preparing the food and they're just having a little bit of a conversation. So then Della decides, you know, she done had her half a glass of wine. And so she says to Mrs. Smalls, she starts to talk about the um, argument that they had the other day as far as when she um, made the chicken. And he enjoyed the chicken. And he was talking about how he really, really liked the Harold's chicken. And she was telling Mrs. Smalls that she went to the store and got him some. She went out of her way. She got the chicken. She brought it home. And she was expecting for him to enjoy the chicken but instead things went the opposite way he didn't want it he was angry with her she told him how he called her a couple names and so she just went ahead and fed the chicken her and the kids ate the chicken and then he went back in into the um the kitchen and found out the chicken was gone and how he was mad he banged on the table and and how he was very upset when he stormed out the house slammed the door and then how he came back that morning, about one o'clock in the morning, was telling her that um, he wished that she could cook like his mom. And that's why, you know, she wanted her to show her how to cook, like at least one meal. So, you know, she can always have something that he that would remind him of home. And so Mrs. Small's advice was, well, sweetie, the next time that happened, you have to understand that men will be men. And it's normal. That's what they do. And just next time, um, save him some chicken. <laughs> Put some chicken up for him. And that way he'll have his chicken. So if he decides to change his mind, the chicken will be there. So then Della went on to tell her about how he had, how he was dirty. He came home and he was smelling musty and um, just real bad. And he was dirty and how he just got in her bed and laid in her bed, didn't even bother to take off his coat or his um his hat or take a shower or anything. And she's like, she just felt like that was disrespectful. And so Mrs. Small's advice to her was, next time, just tell him not to get in your bed like that and that he could lay on the floor or something. <laughs> and then Mrs. Smalls repeatedly told her, well, her husband, Mrs. Small's husband, which is the father of Frank, would come home the same way. And that after things had got so bad right before they got a separated, that she would just lock her bedroom door at night. And so he would just sleep on the floor downstairs on the couch. And she wasn't having none of that. <laughs> so <clears throat> Della was really hoping for her. <laughs> Mrs. Smalls to, you know, reprimand her son and tell her son, you know, that's totally disrespectful and that you should treat your wife better than that. But then she realized she's not going to, um, she's not going to get that type of support. So she was like, well, okay, I'll try that. And then Mrs. Small repeatedly and told her, well, you know, um, Della, it's the liquor, you know, he drinks too much and he really need, once he stopped drinking, You'll see his whole personality will change. I'm going to talk to him about all that drinking. And Della, Della was excited about that. And she was like, well, thank you. You know, thank you. I, I would appreciate that. 
And then Frank comes in right at the end of the conversation, and you can smell right now. You got the the meatloaf is in the oven, the mac and cheese is on the stove. They cutting up the cheese now, and the cheese that uh, <laughs> that um. I mean, it's small, like it's that expensive cheese. So Della was like, I see now. I got about top ingredients. He wants his top ingredients. So Frank comes in and now he has a smile on his face and he gives Della a little peck on the cheek and rubs the smile of her back. And he doesn't say anything though. He just, that's what he does. <laughs> and now Della, she's feeling really excited and she's thinking, I'm going to get this meal perfect. I like that smile on his face. So... D Della, Mrs. Smalls and Della just sitting at the table and so they started talking about ghosts because Della and Mrs. Smalls you know they like talking about paranormal so they started talking about the ghosts and Mrs. Smalls is telling her about how um the unicorn in the front room would be moved from one side of the table to the other side of the table in the morning and um the, that the ghost never breaks the unicorn it always moves the unicorns <laughs> And both Della and Mrs. Small were saying, well, must be some nice ghost that lives here. And so they're just talking about the ghosts and different experiences that uh, they've had, that Mrs. Small's had in the house. And when Della looks around, she realizes that uh, Frank is gone. He done left the house. Frank never returned the rest of the, rest of the day. No more, no more Frank. So Della, Mrs. Smalls, Pete, and the kids, they ate dinner together at the table. No one else came that day. Um, and they, and Pete said he enjoyed the food. He said it tasted very good. It was amazing. Of course, the kids ate what they could, but they were small, so they didn't eat a lot. And so Della was like, well, you know, it's getting late. I think I'm going to go head on and head on to the house. And so... Pete helped her to the car. He's such a gentleman. He helped her. Del, uh, Mrs. Small, she got the food and stuff together and put it all, you know, in bags for Della. And then Pete, he got the kids ready. And so they took, you know, Pete helped her out to the car. And so did Mrs. Smalls. And they put the food in the back and the kids got in. And Pete made sure the kids was in inside. And Della, she's still looking around like, where is my husband? Where is Frank? <laughs> Like it's late and where is Frank? Frank's nowhere to be seen. So Della takes um drives home. She gets the kids home. She gives the kids a bath. She puts the kids to bed. Then Della, she takes her a long hot bath. Of course, after putting the food up and making hubby a plate. She made sure Frank had a nice plate. She put his plate off to the side in the refrigerator so it wouldn't spoil and she put the rest of the food up she had her a glass of wine and she went into the room to watch a movie to help her get to sleep <laughs> okay guys that is the end of chapter two so if you enjoy this story please give me a like and subscribe as well as tomorrow, we'll be talking about... Now, this is the end of chapter two. Tomorrow, we'll be talking about chapter three. Chapter three is going to be about Frank's perspective and what Frank's really, truly been up to. So, you do not want to miss chapter three. See you guys. You have a blessed and happy day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.